now we will be solving the next level of questions so till now the questions were easy to solve right so now we'll be doing slightly challenging ones are you all ready with me okay fine so here is your first question in the second level if 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 12 is equals to x then x plus 17 by 12 is equals to something okay the options given are 4 option b 3 option c 2 and option d 1 okay so first we need to find out what is the value of x so the question says 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 12. So what is the common number which is divisible by all the three children in here? Yes, that is 12, right? This is the least common number. So we will be converting all by 12. So 1 by 3 can be written as 3 4s are 12. So 1 into 4 is 4 plus 6 into 2 is 12. So 1 into 2 is 2 plus here it is already given as 12. You don't have to do anything. So 12 ones are 12. 1 ones are 1. Okay. So this works out to 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. So 7 by 12. So the value of x is 7 by 12. Okay. Now the question says x plus 17 by 12 is how much? So x plus 17 by 12. So, we will substitute the value 7 by 12 plus 17 by 12. Okay. So, which is equals to 7 plus 7, 14, 1 plus 1, 2, 24 by 12. So, is 24 divisible by 12? Yes. 12 ones are 12. 12 twos are 24. So, this will work out to 2 by 1, which is equals to 2. Okay. Where can you find the option? It is option. Clear children? Shall we move to the next question? Okay. The next question is write down the fraction 2 of the colored portion. And the question here is, this is 1, here it is 2, then this is 3, this is Four. Okay. This is five. This is six. Fine. So this is shaded. This is shaded. This one is shaded, this one is shaded, this one is shaded, okay, and then this is shaded, this is shaded, Okay, the options given here are option A, 7 by 5, option B, 5 by 7, option C, 7 by 12, and option D, 
8 by 12. Okay. So, now we will count the colored part and tell the answer. It is easy, right? So, 1, 2, 3, we will take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, 8 by 12. Okay. And we will count even the vacant one. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 8 plus 4 makes it 12. So, out of the 12 portions, 8 portions are colored. Okay. Or shaded. Shall we move to the next one? Okay. So, the next question is, it takes Julia Half an hour to wash comb her hair and put on her clothes And one by four hour to have her breakfast. Okay. How much time Does it take Julia to be ready for school? Okay, the options given are three by four hour. Option B, 5 by 4 hour. Option C, 2 by 4 hour. And option D, 1 hour. Okay. So, what is the question asking us children? It takes half an hour to wash, comb her hair and put on her clothes and 1 by 4 hour to have her breakfast. So, how much time does it take? So, what are we going to do? We are going to add both and see. Okay. So, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4. So, what is the least common denominator children here? It is 4 because 4 is divisible by 2. So, which means that 1 by 2 can be written as 1 into 2 by 2 into 2, which is nothing but 2 by 4. Okay. So, 2 by 4 plus 1 by 4 is equals to 3 by 4. So, it takes 3 by 4 hour for Julia to get ready. That is option. Clear? Shall we move to the next one? Okay. The next question for you is, If 3 by 4 is equals to 18 by D, five by eight is equals to twenty five by E, nine by eleven is equals to f by 66 and 7 by 8 is equals to g by 64. Okay. Find the value of d e F and G. 
okay so it's a critical answering question okay so they have told us if 3 by 4 is equals to 18 by d okay so what are we going to do here we are going to crisscross okay so we will be swapping the value so this becomes 3 into d is equals to 18 into 4 so which means that d is equals to 18 into 4 by 3 okay so 3 into 6 is equals to 18 and 6 fours are 24 therefore value of d is 24 okay so we can write here that value of d is equals to 24 okay then what is the value of e value of e so again the same way the value of e they have written as 5 by 8 is equals to 25 by e which means that 5 into e is equals to 8 into 25 we are just doing it crisscross okay so means it's that e is equals to 25 into 8 by 5 so 5 into 5 is 25 which is equals to 40 so you can say that value of e is equals to 40 okay next is value of f and value of g okay so now value of f so we have here 9 by 11 is equals to f by 66 again we will be doing a crisscross okay so which means that 11 into f is equals to 66 into 9 or f is equals to 66 into 9 by 11 so 11 into 6 is 66 6 nines are 54 so value of f is 54 okay the last one 7 by 8 is equals to g by 64 so this also we will be following the same format which will be g is equals to 7 into 64 divided by 8 so 8 8s are 64 and 7 into 8 is 56 so value of g is 56 okay so now just substitute the value and see 3 6 are 18 4 6 are 24 is it correct yes here 5 5 is 25 8 5 is 40 is it correct yes next 11 into 6 is 66 9 into 6 is 54 is it correct yes next 8 8 are 64 7 8 are 56 is it correct yes so we have found out the value of d e f and g clear children understood the question Shall we move ahead?